Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm here with another super fast project. Once you get the hang of this stitch, it works up really quickly and it's called the camel stitch. Today we'll be doing a twist on a regular scarf. We'll be making a scarf with a keyhole detail and it looks lovely. So let's get started. So here are all the supplies you need to make your lovely keyhole scarf. I'm going to be using Himalaya Super Soft in this beautiful oatmeal color. It's a chunky yarn and here are the details. Along with this, I'm going to be using a 4.5 mm crochet hook. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. So now in order to get started, we're going to make a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn. With the tail end, make another loop inside the first one. Pick it up and pull. Now insert your hook and tighten. So the stitch we're going to use for this project is called a camel stitch. To start, you can chain as many chains as you want. We'll be working this lengthwise, so your initial foundation chain will be the length of your scarf. So to do a chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through and continue doing this until you reach the length of your scarf. Since I wanted my scarf to be a little longer, I've gone ahead and made chains enough for about 60 inches. Now you have to chain 2 and this counts as your turning chain. Now into the third chain from the hook, so you're going to skip 1, 2 and into this chain you're going to place a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain, pull up a loop. Now you have three on the hook, pull through all three. Again into the next one, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. You have three on the hook, pull through all three. And you're going to continue placing one half double crochet all the way around until you get to the other side. So finish your row of half double crochets and meet me back here again. So now once you're done with your row of half double crochets, this is how it should look. To start row number 2, chain 2 and turn your work. Now it's very important to understand the right side and the wrong side of your work. So the side where you can see your stitches properly is your right side. And the side on the other side is your wrong side. So usually if we were doing a half double crochet, we would yarn over, insert our hook into this little V right here, pull up a loop and pull through all three. But that's not what we're going to do now. For this stitch, we're going to be working on the bar at the back. So if you can see, there's a V right here, over here. And at the back, there is this one extra stitch or a line which we're going to call the bar. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the bar, pull up a loop, pull through all three. Similarly, for the next one, the V is right here and the bar is right behind that. So again, place a half double crochet. Again, the V is right here, the bar is just below that place a half double crochet. So when you're working on the wrong side of the work, it's very easy to find the bar. It'll just be under the V-stitch. So place one half double crochet on every bar of every half double crochet from the previous row. And when you reach the end of the row, meet me back here again. So now I've completed this row. This is the wrong side where we place the stitches. And this is the right side. So if you see, you can see a little ridge right here. And this is the pattern that it makes. Now for row number 3, we're going to start with a chain of 2. 1, 2. And then we're going to turn our work around. So now we're working on the right side of the work. But if you remember, we had the V along with the third stitch. That isn't available on this side. That's available on the flip side. So even though we're working on the right side, we're going to turn our work around and place half double crochets at the back. So here's the first one. Here's my V. I'm going to go to the wrong side. 
here's the third stitch right here I'm going to insert my hook and place a half double crochet again here's the V here's the right side flip over to the wrong side and there's the third leg right there so the bar is always on the wrong side so we're always going to be working on the wrong side so go ahead and place a row of half double crochets by turning your work around so just to make it a little clear I'm going to show you slowly one more time here's the V here's the front side yarn over flip it around so when you look at the back of the V you'll be able to see the bar right there going to insert your hook pull up a loop you have three on the hook pull through all three again you have the V right here flip it over yarn over here's the bar right there pull up a loop pull through all three so now at the end of row 3 this is how your work should look this is the right side and if you see you can see the ridges right here and on the wrong side it's smooth and flat now for rows 4 and 5 you're going to repeat rows 2 and 3 again so I'll get you started with row 2 chain 2 turn your work around now since we're working on the wrong side you just need to find the bar which is right here place a half double crochet go into the next one you have the V right here you have the bar right here and then place a half double crochet and continue until the end once you're done with this row you're going to chain two turn and even though you're going to be working on this side which is the right side you'll be flipping your work over and then inserting the stitches into the bar on the wrong side so finish rows 4 and 5 and meet me back here again. So now once you're done with your 5 rows, this is what it should look like. Now we can start with row 6 and this is the row where we'll be adding the keyhole detail. So chain 2, turn your work around. Now we'll be working on the wrong side. So go ahead and make your half double crochets for about 9 inches. In my case that comes to about 31 stitches. So now that I finished my 31 half double crochets, it's time to make the keyhole detail. To make the keyhole detail, you're going to chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and then you're going to skip 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and in the 11th stitch you're going to place your half double crochet in the bar below. Now you're going to continue with the pattern that we were following before of one half double crochet on the bar all the way until you reach the other side. So if you look at it, you have your little keyhole detail that's come right here and you can proceed with the same pattern for the rest of this row. So now that I've completed this row, it's time to start the next one and we're going to do that the way we normally would. Chain 2, turn. This is the right side so we're going to be working on the wrong side at the back and placing our half double crochets on the bar on the back side. So you're going to go ahead and make this pattern until you reach the keyhole detail and once you reach the keyhole detail, I'll show you how to proceed. So now I worked up my back half double crochets till the point wherein my keyhole detail starts. So for the keyhole detail we're going to go through each of the chains on both the sides and place half double crochets. So these are just the normal regular half double crochets across these 10 stitches. And once you're done with these, we're back again to our regular space and we're just going to work the half double crochets on the back bar. 
so if i look at the stitch the back part is right here we have one into the next one another one so go ahead and finish this row start the next row and come back to this area where we have the keyhole detail i'll show you how to complete the next row then so i've completed the previous row started the new row this is the wrong side and now i've reached this portion wherein the keyhole detail is so now for each of these stitches we're going to do the same thing as what we were doing before we're just going to find the bar so if you see the v is right here the bar is under there and we're going to place half double crochets on the bar so again i'll show you if you look right here you can see the v over here you flip it to the side and the bar is right there so now once you complete this row the scarf pattern is going to be the same repeat of rows 2 and 3 as thick as you want it to be so now you'll be working the width whenever you reach your desired width you can stop i'm going to make this for another two more rows and then i'll show you what the final scarf looks like so here's my final scarf. I love the length and the thickness. This is perfect for me. You can make this with any yarn you want and depending on the yarn that you're using, you'll have to measure your keyhole detail and then put it wherever you need it to be. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it with all your friends, subscribe to my channel and until next time, bye-bye.